Hey folks, Casey here with Two Tankards. Have you ever tried cutting thicker pieces of wood and you find out five hours into your cut that your collet is actually bumping up against your work surface and it ruins your cut? Well, today I'm gonna to show you how I do it here in the Two Tankards workshop using a couple of jigs that I designed that will help you set up for different thicknesses of wood. So stay tuned. All right, so the first thing you do is you take the chains off your M2 sled take it off the wall and put it on a flat surface. Then you're going to grab your four jigs here that are marked from a half an inch all the way up to 2.5 inches. You take these and you put them in four areas around your sled based on whatever depth of material you want to cut. So I usually cut three quarter material. The one inch step right here, I put my four jigs under on the one inch step all the way around. Once I have it on there, then I'm ready to adjust my Z axis to my cut thickness. All right, next I would go ahead and remove my router using my Makerverse controls which are usually plugged into my Z-axis control here, I would lower the Z-axis as far down as I could without the guides here bumping into the bottom rails. For expediency, I'll do this by hand. Right about there. That gives me about an inch to an inch and a half of additional movement on the vertical plane. Next, I would take my router and my bit and I make sure that my bit is extended from the end of my collet at least three quarters of an inch. Generally, I like to make sure it's an inch to an inch and a half. Then I would take my router and I place it all the way in my router clamp and I let it drop down until it hits the bottom wood that's in the system. Then I go ahead and I tighten up the bolts And that tells me now that my bit will go the distance that I have it set on these blocks, which is exactly one inch. It will go all the way through there. It will hit the bottom and the bit has at least one inch of play above my cut surface, plus the five eighths inch thickness of the sled. So with this setup now, I know I can always cut one inch thick wood with no problems and never bottoming my router out and never bottoming out my Z axis when cutting all the way through the wood. All right, the last step is to check the settings and make sure everything is correct. So with your router in the clamp and your sled setting on one inch pedestals, there's a one inch gap right here that the bit is protruding through the bottom of the sled, we'll check that setting. So if I turn the clamp, the sled starts to reach up. So that tells me that I am bottoming out at that one inch mark, okay? The next step is to then reverse your, your Z axis, bring it up all the way that you can to a comfortable area and make sure that your bit you can see it down here, is actually up out of the sled and it is no longer touching your cut piece to ensure that you can clear and not leave lines in your cut piece when you're moving the sled around. All right, folks, that's it. Real simple, real fast setup using my jigs here that I have. I can adjust it from basically a half inch all the way up to two and a half inches thick wood. If you get to the higher level here, you'll need to use a longer bit, of course, and you will eventually get to a point to where you bottom out the height on your Z axis to where you can't get the bit out. So you need to be careful of that. But anything between a half inch, probably up to an inch and a half, those are definitely doable, maybe up to two inch. But using these jigs right here, you'll always be able to adjust the depth of your bit inside of your router in conjunction with your Z axis 
to ensure you never have a collet on your router, you never have a collision with your collet and your workpiece. I do plan on selling these on my Maker Made store, the two tanker storefront, as soon as uh, the store is back up and running, it's down right now. But uh, if you would like a set of these or you want to inquire about these, just reach out to me on Facebook. As always, if you like my videos, please uh, like and subscribe, and we'll see you on the next one.